Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you from uh, news articles and different things like that. Um, this is, uh, for people who don't know, this is Rawson King, and you're one of the city councillors here in Ottawa? That's correct. So uh, I'm the uh, city councillor for Rideau Rockcliffe, and that also uh, incorporates Overbrook, the Overbrook community where I live. Uh, nice. So it's always wonderful to be able to come down to the community centre and, and participate in, in events. So this is, we're here two days before Christmas. There's yes. a community meal. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about um, your outreach here in the community from yeah, that perspective? Well, well it's just wonderful. Uh, right now uh, there are a number of community meals that have occurred uh, through multiple uh, neighborhoods uh, including here in Overbrook. Uh, you know we have a lot of vulnerable people here in, in our neighborhood and it's important for us to ensure that we, we care, that we uh, provide some resources to people and that we also tell people uh, where resources can be accessed and we find that uh, community meals are a very great way of doing that. It's also a great way to just show that we care and we're appreciative of people, especially during uh, the holiday season. We want to show our appreciation to people and, and ensure that there's outreach to people. So we're really pleased that a number of volunteers came together today uh, to really provide a, a wonderful meal to the community. And I think it's, uh, it's wonderful when people can just come together, sit down, uh, you know, chat, uh, enjoy some wonderful entertainment. I know, uh, you know, Chris uh, from CKCU is here entertaining people. I think it's just really uh, wonderful to share time with one another as a community. So, so I'm really pleased to be here. And it's also been a tradition. Uh, before COVID, uh, we had wonderful Operation Turkey Meals here in uh, at the Overbrook uh, Community Center. And I'm really pleased that that tradition is continuing. Yeah, that's really wonderful, especially right now during times of food insecurity, rising prices, Absolutely. and also it, around the holiday seasons, people really need to have a sense of community because people are a lot really lonely right now, and there's a lot of issues after COVID and isolation, things like that. It's wonderful to be able to get out and be a part of the community like that. You're absolutely right. It's important to break social isolation, and so that's why it's important to have uh, these holiday dinners where community members can come together and dine with one another and talk with one another and share experiences together and uh, not be alone during the holidays. And so it's very important, especially uh, with our seniors. Uh, so we've had a number of events at uh, OCH properties uh, throughout the ward where uh, it's been primarily seniors. And I really get excited when I see that, you know, uh, they're having a good time, they're, uh, you know, talking with one another. They're playing games with one another. Uh, they're really sharing the holiday spirit with one another. And I think we need to do more of that. Uh, it builds more community cohesion within our communities and our neighborhoods when people get together and they share experiences with one another and they understand that there are people in the community who care about them. And so, you know, at a basic human level, it's important for us to, to hold more of these types of events in my estimation. Oh, I totally agree. I've been trying to uh, show people just how all the good things about Ottawa. There's a lot of people that are a little bit pessimistic. There's some negative feelings, but I'm really happy with living here, and I feel thankful for in a lot of ways for some of the the community spirit that we do actually have, and I want to showcase that more. Well, I'm happy that you're doing that because you're absolutely right. I find that people have become pessimistic, and it makes sense. I mean. Uh, COVID, the pandemic was very challenging, and I think we're entering into a political environment that's very polarized. But the reality is, when you look at our community and you think about what's going on in the world, we have a lot of cohesion here. We have a lot of community spirit here. We have a lot of volunteerism here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, there are challenges to our serious challenges to our quality of life, and we're seeing that whether it's the affordability crisis, whether it's the housing crisis, uh, whether it's uh, challenges around. Uh, illegal uh, drug supply that is uh, really causing harm to many people in the community. But despite all these challenges,
Indonesians, we still have an excellent quality of life and we still have people who are committed uh, to ensuring that neighborhoods are the best that they can be. And I think it is important for us to be uh, optimistic, especially during the holidays. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for us to really emphasize the good work that a lot of people do. You know, thousands and thousands and thousands of people undertake in the city every day on behalf of other residents. So I, I actually think it's, it's important for us to remember that. You can't always be pessimistic all the time. You see a lot of good work, a lot of good things that people are doing in the community. And I think of the group behind uh, this meal, all volunteers, you know, out of the goodness of their, of their heart and their soul, just to uh, provide some happiness to residents in, in Overbrook and throughout the ward. So, uh, you know, the meal here is not just going to be served to uh, residents here, but it's also going to be served to residents, uh, newcomers and, and new immigrants um, uh, who are staying in hotels and motels right now. Uh, so it's important for us to really emphasize that we care and to show that we're optimistic as a society, that we know that we're going to be in a better place uh, come next year. So I think it's important to, to, to really emphasize that. This, uh, this interview will air on uh, Christmas Day, actually. And in the coming new year, um, if people want to come out and help you or want to volunteer, what's a good way to get a hold of to get involved in this? Well, the wonderful thing is that we have active community associations, especially in my ward, in Rideau Roncliffe and Ward 13. So uh, as a first starting point, I always say talk to the community associations. They're wonderful and active community associations in Overbrook, in Linden Lee, in Edinburgh, um, in Manor Park. And the wonderful thing about all these community associations is that they're just not focused on the typical issues like development issues. They're also focused heavily on making investments in social services and ensuring that uh, there are resources and volunteerism uh, to assist people in need. So I always say start with the community associations and of course uh, my office is always open uh, to people. People can contact my office and uh, we will respond uh, directly to people's uh, needs and uh, if they're interested in volunteering we can always connect them to the right organizations to volunteer for. As an alumni of the Carleton Journalism and uh communications programs, how do you think those help you prepare for your life in, as a political leader and as an activist, as a volunteer? Well, I must say I'm a proud Carleton alumni. Yeah. I think that uh, Carleton has a well-rounded uh, program, especially around social uh, service, uh, social uh, sciences. And, um, you know, I've, I've, I've been very, uh, you know, thankful for the fact that I've had a well-rounded education. So uh, the journalism program is a quasi-professional program, which meant that I was able to take other courses in history, in legal studies, in social work, and I found that that whole overarching uh, experience, as well as the journalism experience, uh, where there's a focus on understanding public institutions, has been very uh, useful to myself personally. Um, uh, I'm a proud alumni, my wife is a proud alumni, uh, uh, alumnus as well. Um, in fact, she sits on the Board of Governors for Carleton. And uh, you know, we also believe in ensuring that we make uh, the proper investments in students. So uh, we've been very proud together to have launched a uh, scholarship specifically for black, indigenous, and racialized students who are studying culture, who are studying uh, in the cultural field, whether it's art history, uh, cultural studies, uh, because it's important for uh, people to have those types of opportunities uh, to, to really enhance their, their education. And get, education for me is key and so um, you know it's been central, my experience at Carleton has been central in terms of uh, public service and I know that many other people feel that way as well who's, who've experienced uh, those programs. Not just the journalism program, whether it's art history, uh, whether it's social work, uh, whether it's the communication program, um, History, I mean, I think that it, you are well rounded if you attend Carleton. It really does set you up, uh, especially to critically think about the impact of, of public institutions. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us here on CKCUFM. Was there anything else you'd like to highlight for the coming year? I, I just wanted to really uh, emphasize that, uh, you know, Campus radio is important. Uh, we've seen some challenges on other campuses in the city mm -hmm. around funding. Um, 
and campus radio. And campus radio, uh, to me, is central um, as a alternative voice for people uh, in the community and a necessary one. Uh, alternative views are important, whether it's news, perspectives, music. Uh, so uh, what I would encourage people to do, I know that your funding drive is uh, wrapped up, but the funding drive is, uh, you know, all year support campus radio i think it's important if you want to support uh you know wonderful local amenities and if you want to support democracy actually locally so i want to thank you for all the, the work that you do i think local media is actually quite important and i'm proud of the fact that we have uh, a very robust uh, campus uh, radio station at carlton thank you so much i look forward to talking to you again in the future and following your career thank you appreciate it have a great day take care merry christmas thank you